okay, I'm just gonna try this again. So, I um, decided to make an impromptu video. Well, it was impromptu the first time I tried it. Now I've given this a few tries. But um, I decided to make a video because I recently acquired quite a few new children's book, middle grade books. And um, I just want to show them off because I'm excited and I want to share my excitement. So, um, I'm planning on reading them, at least some of them, most likely for Believe It's On next month. And, um, but I just been like wanting to acquire more books since I, I recently decided that that's okay it's something I'm okay spending money on it's a, n a new thing for me we'll see if it continues but I've dreamt of having a, a living in a library and I'm working toward that dream okay so here we go I, I the past, uh, previous times I tried making this video I just kept picking the books up and saying and I'm excited about this one and I'm excited about that one so that might happen again because I am excited, but we'll see. Okay, let's see which one I pick up. Okay, Podcast Stubbs. I've heard great things about this. I know that it was recently, um, maybe middle grade monthly pick. I don't remember if that was what it was, but I know there's a live stream about that was uh, that was made of this discussing this book, and I'm gonna read, I'm gonna watch that after I've read it, and I am excited. The next one is The Castle of Tingled Magic. I have actually not read anything by Sophie Anderson yet, but I have heard great things and this is going to be my first and I am looking forward to it. Next one is The Girl Who Drank the Moon. Another book I've heard great things about. Shocker. And we've got Love Sugar Magic. This one is also a book I've heard great things about. I don't know if I'm saying the title right, because I don't know if it's Love, Sugar, Magic, but there aren't commas, so it's probably Love, Sugar, Magic. Maybe I'll find out as I read the book. Something exciting to find out. And then I've got the third Pages and Co. book. I haven't read the second Pages and Co. book yet, but I shall. Then we've got Jane Doe and the Cradle of, and the Cradle of All Worlds. I think I found this just randomly while searching for things online, had good reviews, and I've been trying to find some books that are like somewhat less known to discover. So I'm hoping this one holds up. And we've got The Polar Bear Explorers Club, another one I've heard good things about. This one, my, um, my library, at least the, e my, what I, the Kindle ebook apps, don't seem to know that it exists, so I can't even place a hold on it, so I decided I must acquire it. And here it is. Then we've got The Keepers, The Box and the Dragonfly. Another one that had good reviews that I hadn't heard of before, and it is quite large. I am a fan of large books. They make me here. How do I show this the scale? Um, I have no idea, but it's large. And um, actually, I could just tell you how many pages it is. It's 529, counting the glossary. I'm not going to make you wait while I count, check how many pages it is without the glossary. But um, uh, what did I, yes, I was just saying that I really like big books because that means if I enjoy the book, I get to spend a lot of time in it. Then we've got... Hopefully I'm not repeating any books. I'll see. Um, and we've got Else Time. I'm pretty sure I discovered this book on Twitter. So yay, Twitter. Um, I don't remember exactly what prompted me to buy it, but something must have pulled me in, and um, I'm excited. It, it looks cool. It's got this, it has like a, just a, a cool look to it, and um, I'm excited. <laughs> and we've got The Strange World Travel Agency. I have heard good things about it. What a mysterious surprise. And Book Scavenger, a book about books and adventures. Can't complain about that. And then last is a non-middle grade one, House in the Cerulean Sea. This one I've had for like a few weeks actually, just haven't gotten to yet. But I've heard that described as a YA or adult, I don't remember which one, book. For, or middle grade book for, for um, older audiences, basically. And that sounds like the perfect thing to introduce me, to like sort of expand my horizons beyond middle grade a little bit. I don't need to go too far, but it seems like a good opportunity. And um, I think that's all the books I have here that I haven't read yet. 
but um, as you can tell, I am very excited. <laughs>